What's up everybody, Watt007 here, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to farm level 40 Professional Aster in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So, Professional Aster is a brand new event in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that's gonna last until April 5th of 2020. This new event is gonna give us access to some new Destiny Hero support in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that you do not need to spend any gems for because you just need to farm this character right here. As Duel Links states, for a limited time, Professional Aster will appear in Duel World GX. You can duel him to obtain event rewards. And when it comes to the appearance, rate of this character dueling in any dual world will increase the chance of professional aster appearing the chance of him appearing will increase every time you duel uh, until he appears also dueling in ranked duels or at the gate will also increase the chance of him um appearing so you do not have to waste dual orbs which is really nice and you also could check the likelihood of professional aster appearing by looking at the upper right corner of the screen in dual world it'll pop up somewhere around here as you can see keep dueling and aster will appear which is pretty cool a couple things to pay attention to is some of his new card rewards that you can farm for one of his new card rewards you can farm for is a ur card called D mine, which is probably going to be the card you're going to want to go for um, because this card has a pretty cool effect. If you control no Destiny Hero monsters, you can special summon a level 3 or lower Destiny Hero monster from your deck. Like Duel Link suggests, you can special summon monsters such as Destiny Hero Doom Lord and Destiny Hero Captain Tenacious through the effect of D mine. This is going to allow you access to have some more monsters on your side of the field so that you can go into some fusion summons of some Destiny Hero fusion monsters. is pretty cool. Another card we can take a look at is a card called D Time. This is another farmable card from the Professional Aster event. It's an SR card that states when elemental hero monster you control leaves the field you can add one destiny hero monster from your deck to your hand whose level is less than or equal to that elemental hero monsters level so this card is cool for any of you guys want to want to build like maybe like an anime deck or want to build a like mixed anime deck that combines the power of jaden's elemental heroes and aster's destiny heroes in one deck you can farm for d time and build a fun little anime deck out of that so that's pretty cool we also have some other cards you can farm for like destiny hero diamond dude destiny hero double dude destiny single and over destiny also what's really cool is that if you don't know with roaming events Basically, the more that you duel against uh, these limited time events, you basically have a chance to get free copies of exclusive cards from this event. So if you win one duel against a Professional Aster in Duel Worlds, you can get a guaranteed copy of Over Destiny. If you win three times against Professional Aster in Duel World, you can get a guaranteed copy of Destiny Single. If you win seven times against Professional Aster in Duel World, you get a guaranteed copy of D Time. And then if you just play 15 duels in general against Professional Aster in Duel World, you can get a free copy of D Mine. So that's really cool right there. And that's basically the gist of what this event is giving to us. Let me go show you guys the farm deck on how to farm professional aster let's get into it now the farm deck that i'm going to be using is this ubel farm deck right here this ubel farm deck is super consistent and super easy to use but if you guys do not want to play ubel i do have a couple other re recommendations that you guys could use for farm decks duel links meme and chico slot both have really cool farm decks that you guys can use duel links meme has a unique ninja farm deck that you can use to farm professional aster and chico slot has a really cool like stall wing dragon raw farm deck that you can use to farm against professional aster so if you guys want to go check out their youtube videos be sure to go check those videos out because they have different farm decks than you bell but in this video i'm going to showcase how to use this you bell deck in depth now for this farm you're going to need to play as you bell for her skill my name is you bell if you don't have my name is you bell this farm deck is going to be less consistent than what it is if you don't have you bell already unlocked i'll pop up on the screen right now on all the challenges that you need to complete in order to unlock you bell i won't be giving you guys any tips on how to complete these challenges but i will showcase to you guys how to unlock the character just by following these dual challenges is right here but if you do have you belt unlocked which i'm gonna guess most of you guys watching this video do let me go show you guys this farm deck in depth real quick so here's the farm deck here's the deck list right here we have three copies of the you bell the ultimate nightmare to get this card you either get it from dual rewards from you bell so if you level her up you can get a couple copies of the ultimate nightmare or if you use rank dual pvp tickets you can get a couple copies of the ultimate nightmare except we're rocking one copy of you belt and terra carnet another thing just dual reward or use rank pvp tickets to get terra carnet and then last but not least we have you bell you can get this card from a dual reward starter deck or level up rewards but the off chance if you don't have three copies of the ultimate nightmare just rock three copies of you bell instead next up we're rocking one copy of the montage dragon you can get this card from leveling up officer trudge next up we have three copies of sangan this card is from the selection box volume one mini and gaius genesis box so this card's really good because you can search out for any of your you bell cards and you can search out for any of your uh, methods cards so this card is really good next up we have three copies of fire king avatar yaksha this card is good it's from the dawn of destiny mini box you can utilize this card based Basically, when Aster destroys this card, um, while you have a Yubel in your hand, you can use Avatar Yaksha's effect to destroy your Yubel in hand. And then, since Yubel is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon Terra Carnet and basically win the farm. Next up, we have two copies of Defender of Methus. 
three copies of Disciple of Methus and one copy of Monarch of Methus, all from the Absolute Infernal main box. These cards are good because they help us out by destroying our U-Bells so that we can special summon to Terra Carnet, and they allow us to do some deck thinning. Last but not least, we have one copy of Exile Wicked. This card is from Taya Gardner or from Ranked Dual Rewards, and you can utilize this card uh, to destroy all fade face-up fiend monsters on the field. This card's going to help us out going for a uh, dual assessment score of 8,000 at the end of the farm. And last but not least, we have uh, one copy of Xi'an Spy. This card is from a standard duelist dual reward, so if you for whatever reason don't have this card i don't know what you're doing you just keep dueling the standard duelist but this card states uh you can select one face of monster you control to activate this card give control to select a monster to your opponent till the end phase of this turn and that's basically how this farm deck works let me go show you guys a dual replay of me farming level 40 aster and i'm going to give you guys an in-depth guide on how to utilize this farm deck properly i'll see you there so in this farm i go turn two against aster my opening hand is kind of all right we have a terra carnet she ends by monta dragon defender met this let's see if I can utilize this hand to get a successful farm against Aster. Spoiler alert, I do. Next up, Aster is going to go activate his Ferris's effect. He's basically going to do a bunch of special summon combos with his new Vision Hero support. If you didn't know, this Vision Hero support that Aster is using is actually in the new uh, mini box in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and you can do some crazy stuff. Aster does some crazy stuff right here, but basically summons a couple of Vision Hero monsters. Not that too big of a deal. Honestly, Aster's uh, deck isn't really that threatening against you Bell specifically, so as once we get our Terra Carnet on the field, we're basically just going to town. I draw into Sandgan, I set Sandgan. He's gonna tribute off one of his monsters and go into Vision Hero Varus. Activate Vision Hero's uh, Varus's effect. Next up, he destroys my Sandgan with uh, Minimum Ray, which is great for me because now I get to search for uh, my Fire King, or not Fire King, my Disciple of Methus. I went for a Disciple of Methus because you can use this, utilize this card to thin your deck. Because one thing you gotta pay attention with this farm deck is that you do wanna use this farm deck to summon you, Bell, but at the same time, you also wanna try to use this farm deck to one summon your Terra Carnet and thin, thin out your deck because Aster will deplete his deck very quickly. As you can tell, his Vision Hero cards have some crazy combos. And since his Vision Hero cards have some crazy combos, uh, they're basically going to just thin out his deck like crazy. So if you could stop him from thinning out his deck while thinning out your own deck, you're going to be good to go. But anyways, we search for a Disciple of Methus right here. I take some damage because I didn't have any other ways to defend myself, but things are good. We're going to trigger My Name is Ybel, shuffling Terra Carnet back into the deck to search for Ybel. Next up, we're going to normal summon Disciple of Methus, destroy Ybel from my hand, search for uh, this Methus right here really doesn't matter which one you search for uh but we just go for this play right here we're gonna special summon a terra carnet through you bell's effect and we're good to go right here basically you win this farm if you summon it to you bell terra carnet because this card destroys every other card in the field except you bell terra carnet and this is going to help us out so that we can just keep thinning out our deck and then go for the combo piece to get over um, 8,000 attack points of damage to Aster so that we get a dual assessment score of 8,000. Next up, Aster is just going to be doing some more Vision Hero plays. He just started doing this ever since I activated or ever since I summoned a Terra Carnet, but it's just meaningless in the end because all of them got destroyed. Next up, we summon or we top deck into Sandgan. I summon my Sandgan, let him get destroyed so that I search out for my other Sandgan because I just don't want to keep thinning out my deck as much as I can. Thankfully, Terra Carnet works super well with Sandgan because since Terra Carnet keeps destroying Sandgan, I can keep thinning out my deck because when Sandgans gets sent to the from the field to the graveyard I can add monster with 1500 less attack from my deck to the hand so it's just a really good combo that works well together so even though Aster's thinning out his deck like crazy I'm also thinning out my deck like crazy so we're good to go right here we search for another disciple of Methus right here very cool next up we normal summon our disciple of Methus and we trigger its car this card's effect so that we can thin our decks I do not want Aster to deck out we want to have zero cards in our deck but Aster we don't want Aster to Next up, he's going to go for a uh, fusion summon into Vision Hero Absorption. And doesn't really matter because he can't attack my Terra Carnet. Summon another Disciple. Couldn't really use Disciple's effect, so it just gets destroyed. And from here on out, we're pretty much just chilling. I just got nothing else to do in this farm as long as Aster doesn't thin himself out. We're good to go. Aster's going to do his fusion summons and stuff, but in the end, it's going to be meaningless because he can't attack our Terra Carnet because this deck has no outs to a Terra Carnet. So we're just chilling. We're just uh, relaxing, having a good time, and we almost have everything that we need to um, have for this final turn right here. As you guys can see, I'm trying my best to keep all my copies of Ultimate Nightmare in my hand, and I got to keep Montage Dragon Exile, The Wicked, and Shian Spy because all these cards you need to have on your final turn. I should have mentioned that earlier in the video, but I hope you guys could kind of tell with how things are going. Anyways, 
so so when you're on the final turn and you have no cards in your deck you're gonna want to ha have a hand with exile the wicked chance spy montage dragon and your Ubel ultimate nightmares because what we're gonna do is this right here we're gonna first activate exile the wicked destroy all face of fiend monsters on the field so then we're gonna go destroy our terra granite right here next up terra granite's effects gonna trigger so we can special summon a Ubel ultimate nightmare luckily i have a prismatic one so i get that bonus prismatic bonus next up we're gonna activate um our special summon our montage dragon by pitching our Bells and Fire King Avatar Yaksha, so he gets a lot of attack points right here. Next up, we're gonna activate Chien Spy so that we give our Montage Dragon to Aster Phoenix. And then what we do is that we go attack with our Ultimate Nightmare. Ultimate Nightmare's effect triggers, and we basically win the duel through effect damage right there. Now, if you're going against level 30 Aster, do not go for that combo. When you go against level 30 Aster, all you should do is special summon it to Montage Dragon and just go for direct attack for game. Aster has um in level 30 Aster has uh Destiny Hero Decider, and if Destiny Hero Decider is in the graveyard. He can actually use Destiny Hero Decider's effect to banish it. And then, or no, he can add it back to his hand and then take no effect damage. So watch out from that if you're going against level 30 Aster Phoenix. But if you're going against level 40 Aster Phoenix, go for this play right here where you special summon Montage Dragon and you build Ultimate Nightmare. Give Montage Dragon through Shian Spy and go for game. Well, that's going to be it for my professional Aster farm guide in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask me some questions in the comment section down below. I'd love to help you guys out on what cards were placed for the deck and how to farm it properly if you guys are having any difficulties with, uh, difficulties with that. Other than that, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, and I'll go see you guys in the next one.